Hello everyone and welcome to our new English lesson. Today's video is about linking words, part 2. In this lesson, we are going to explain the purpose links, يعني أدوات الربط اللي كتعبر على الهدف والغاية, contrast links, يعني أدوات اللي كتعبر على الاختلاف. Ready? So let's start. So let's start with the purpose links, الهدف والغاية. We have in order to من أجلي so as to to so that in order that these ones mean لكي in Arabic and we have for for يعني لأجلي so in order to so as to and to are followed by verbs in the infinitive we are talking here about the affirmative form for example I study hard in order to and it can be in the purpose, in order to get a good job. Or I can say, I study hard so as to get a good job. Or I study hard to get a good job. So maybe in the national exam, you are given this example. You are given, I study hard, full stop, I want to get a good job. Which means here we have two ideas, right? And you are asked to join the two ideas using in order to. So this is how you can do it. You can say, I study hard in order to. To what? Here, they must be followed by the purpose. So in order to get a good job. Or so as to get a good job. Or to get a good job. Let's move on. Next. In order not to. Likeila. So as not to. Likeila. So we use so as not to and in order not to to express purpose in the negative form. And they are also followed by verb in the infinitive, right? To express, as I said, a negative. For example, I left home early in order not to be late for work. Or, so as not to be late for work. In the national exam, you are given this example. I left home early, dot, or full stop, I didn't want to be late for work. So here as we will have two ideas. And you are asked to use in order not to, to join the two ideas. This is the result. I left home early in order not to be late for work. Hope it is clear. Let's move on. Next, so that and in order that. So you can also express... Uh, purpose with so that and in order that. Uh, in this case, you generally need to use a model. For example, can, will, could, or would. This is the structure you need to respect. So that in order that plus subject plus model verb can, will in present tense. Example number one. Put the food on the table so that everyone can dip in. Or we can say, put the food on the table in order that everyone can dip in. You see, so that. A model here with the verb in the infinitive. In order that as well, model or verb in the infinitive. Example number two. She wants to earn a lot of money so that she can buy many things that she wants. So here, so that is followed by a model verb and the verb in the base form. The same for in order that. Next, so that in order that, as we said, it is plus a model verb, can or could or will or would. Let's give example with could and would. Example number one. I went to school so that or in order that I could study. Example number two. I got up early so that I would not be late for the meeting or in order that I would not be late for the meeting. Next. Let's move to deal with the last one which is for. Purpose can be also expressed by using for. Uh, for here may be followed by either a noun or verb in ing. For example, I am here for your help. أنا هنا من أجل مساعدتك. Example number two. We can say, she called for inviting us to her party. يعني اتصلت لأجل دعوتنا لحفلتها. Great. Let's now practice. Try to remember how to use them when you are asked to join sentences. Okay, look first for the purpose. I think you are familiar with this question. Join the pairs of sentences with the words in brackets. So these are the sentences you need to join. 
using the words in brackets. These are the words in brackets. Let's try with the first one. People are staying at home during lockdown. They want to stay safe. Okay. You are asked to use in order to, to join the two ideas. So, in order to, we said, it is going to be followed by the verb in the infinitive, right? So, what is the purpose here? Why are people staying at home during lockdown? Because they want to stay safe, right? The purpose is to stay safe. So, look for the purpose, to stay safe. So, we can say, people are staying at home during lockdown in order to, to what? To stay safe. And that was the purpose, the word غاية أو الهدف. To stay safe. Number two. I have chosen science subjects. I dream to be a scientist in the future. You saw that. To join the two sentences. We can say, I have chosen science subjects so that I can be a scientist in the future. Remember that so that it is followed by a modal verb. Okay. Then the verb in the infinitive. Okay. Number three, you should practice linking words a lot. It will develop your English skill. Join the two ideas, use so as to. What is the purpose here? Okay, the purpose of learning linking words is to develop your English skills, right? So this is the purpose. So, so as to, to what? To develop your English skills. We can say, you should practice linking words a lot so as to develop your English skills. Let's practice more. So join the pairs of sentences with the words in bracket. So here we have uh, five sentences. I want you now to pause the video and take a break. Then think about the answers and later you can check if your answers are correct. Ready? So let's start. So number one, Ali is learning English. He wants to study in an English language country. Use so that. So we can say, Ali is learning English so that he can. Okay, so that plus model and the verb in the infinitive. So that he can study in an English language country. Number two, Anas is visiting London in June. He wishes to visit his old friends. So use in order to, to connect the two ideas. We can say, Anas is visiting London in June. In order to, to what? To visit his old friend. The purpose is the visit, right? In order to visit his old friends. Three, you should practice linking words a lot. It will develop your English skills. So as to. So the reason here, or the purpose is to develop, develop your English skills, right? So you should practice linking words a lot. So as to develop your English skills. Next, government is planning to ease lockdown. It wants to revive the business. Use in order to. We can say, government is planning to ease lockdown in order to what? What is the purpose? Right, is to revive the business. Good job. Last one, number five. Some students work hard. They want to develop a brilliant career. Use in order that. So in order that, what is the purpose here? The purpose is to develop a brilliant career. So we can say some students work hard in order that they can develop. In order that plus model verb. In order that they can develop a brilliant career. Good job. Let's move now to the next part, which is about contrast links. In To express contrast, we can use these expressions. We have but while yet and still however nevertheless and whereas so these linking words are followed by subject and a verb this is how they are placed in sentences you see here comma but comma while full stop yet or still then comma full stop however comma full stop nevertheless comma comma whereas so remember this structure i think you know this character it's garfield okay here we have two ideas we have garfield is very hungry the fridge is empty right we are going to 
uh, join these two ideas using the connectors we have just seen for contrasts. So let's start with but. We can say Garfield is very hungry, comma, but the fridge is empty. Let's move on with yet and still. We can say Garfield is very hungry, full stop, yet or still, comma, the fridge is empty. Next, however and nevertheless. We can say Garfield is very hungry, full stop, however or nevertheless, the fridge is empty. Next, whereas and while. We can say Garfield is very hungry, comma, whereas the fridge is empty. Last one with while. Garfield is very hungry, comma, while the fridge is empty. I hope it is clear. Let's have more practice with the more examples. But, for example, here we have, let's name him John with the cat. Yeah, we can see that John likes cats or loves cats. How about dogs? No, he doesn't. We can say, John loves cats, but he hates dogs. But he hates dogs. So we have here contrasts, two contrast ideas. He loves cats, but he hates dogs. Next, with yet and still. We can say, for example, the weather was snowy, yet or still, it was not cool. Next, with however and nevertheless. Okay, what do you see here? Okay, a man with a lot of money, right? We can say he's rich. So, that man has much money. However, he is not happy at all. Or nevertheless, he is not happy at all. Remember, full stop, however, comma. Or full stop, nevertheless, comma. Okay? Next, with whereas and while. So, we can say here, he is uh, quiet. Whereas, his sister is very talkative. Okay. Next. I like playing football while my brother prefers tennis. Let's practice. You join the pairs of sentences with the words in brackets. Okay, these are the pair sentences you have. And uh, these are uh, the words in green. Those are the linking words you need to use to join the two sentences. Okay. All right, so I want you to uh, pause the video, take a break, think about the answers, then come back and check the answers. Ready? So let's start. People have to wear seat belts in cars. Not everybody wears them. Nevertheless, yeah, we can say people have to wear seat belts in cars. Nevertheless, and in a nokta, full stop, nevertheless, Comma, not everybody wears them. Clear? Next, Dr. Jones explained his theory. Scientists didn't think it would work. However, yes, do you remember the rule for however? Good. We can say Dr. Jones explained his theory. Full stop, however, comma, scientists didn't think it would work. Number three. Walid is very good at English and Spanish. His brother hates languages. Whereas. Do you remember the rule for whereas? Yes. Come up before whereas. Okay. We can say, Walid is very good at English and Spanish. Whereas, his brother hates languages. Here it is also possible not to use come up, Okay. For whereas. Number four. Pam enjoys tennis. Her brother prefers football. Use while. We can say, Pam enjoys tennis while her brother prefers football. The same here for while and whereas, we can use them with no commas, right? And they are still correct. Number five, Tahsin was blind, he wrote a lot of books. Yet, we can say Tahsin was blind, full stop, yet, comma, he wrote a lot of books. Last one, he works hard, he doesn't earn much, but, do you remember the rule for but? Yeah, we need to put a comma before but. We can say he works hard, but he doesn't earn much. So that's all for this lesson. I hope it is clear and wishing you the best of luck. Thank you for watching and following.